Hi artists, welcome to your llama painting class. In front of you, you should have your llama canvas, a paper towel, a large brush, a small brush, a cup of water. Also, I would recommend a plate just in case you'd like to mix. Blue, purple, pink, white, green, black, blue, and yellow. So be sure you have all those uh, materials in front of you. If not, you're welcome to stop the video and return whenever you have everything in front of you. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab both of our brushes and twirl them in your cup of water and then pat them dry. Get them nice and clean for our painting class. And the first step is painting our background with the blue color with our larger brush. So I'm just gonna dip my big brush in my blue, uh, my lighter blue, so you have two blues, your lighter blue paint, the lighter of the two. And I am gonna go around my llama and make an outline on the left side so I know where to stop with my blue. So a nice long brush stroke, nice and smooth. And then up here to the left. So I'm just using my light blue as a way to get some blue on the forehead. I'm going to use my paper towel to wipe it off before I move on. Sorry about that. But you are welcome to start painting all the background whenever you are ready. The good thing about canvases is while your paint is still wet, you can just kind of pick it up with water on your paper towel. Easy as that. All right, so I'm done with my outline around my llama. And then I can go in there and paint all this background, this light blue with my bigger brush. Again, nice long brush strokes. Be sure you're getting out all those bumps. You don't want any bumpy areas of paint. It'll take forever to dry. And in just a moment, I'll also paint the sides of my canvas as well. I do recommend two coats for the background, which means you paint it once, let it dry, and then go back and give it a second coat. Just so that you can um, get a nicer, more solid background. You don't see as much of the white canvas peeking through. more light blue, more big brush. I'm just gonna continue on. paint over my outline too so I don't see it as much so I'm just gonna go over it And once I'm done with the front, I will be painting the left side, the top, and the right. Also the bottom, I do want to create two lines. So on the left side of the llama's neck, and then the right side, I'll make a line. And I'll paint everything to the right of this line, and everything to the left of this line. So I'm leaving that white area where the neck kind of curls over on the bottom of my canvas. All 
those little white areas. Again, I would recommend two coats. Paint the background all light blue. Give it a couple minutes to dry where it's not so shiny anymore and then go over with the second coat. So it's a little bit cleaner the second time around. I am going to move on to the next step, but again, I would probably pause the video for a moment and go back and give my background a second coat of blue, if I were you. Uh, uh, and then uh, once you are done with your blue background, you're just going to take your big brush and wipe it off on your paper towel. You don't have to get all of it off, but you want most of the blue off your big brush. Maybe give this a background a minute or two to dry, but once you are um, done giving this some time to dry and you wipe off the blue, uh, most of the blue off of your big brush, again, it's okay if there's still a little bit of light blue on there, you are gonna dip your big brush in your white paint, tap it on your paper towel about five or six times, and then you can go in there and make some circles. So for instance, I'm gonna come up here Make a circle and fill it in. I'm just gonna move my brush in a round formation. So white, tap it on your paper towel about five or six times. Make a circle, I'm gonna make a circle. And then I can go in there and just move my brush nice and round to fill it in. My blue paint is still a little bit wet, which is fine because that blue and white, they're kind of working together. I'll make half of one up here next to the right ear. So it's kind of like that C shape. And I can go in there and clean it up. Just kind of outline it a little bit, get that shape back. White, tap it on my paper towel. Maybe another one over here. That C shape again. Follow that roundness. Make sure there's no bumps, smooth it out. If you lost the shape, you can go on the outside and outline it again. Clean it up. Perfect, white. Tap it on your paper towel. Maybe another one over here. Make the circle shape and then paint. Maybe this one. White, tap on paper towel. White, tap on paper towel. Maybe another big circle over here. If I feel like it's hard moving the white paint, you can add a little bit of water to your brush, tap it on the paper towel, and go inside of it. Kind of help the paint move a little bit smoother. So I just added a little bit of water on my brush. I think I'm gonna add one more, kind of half of one over here, making kind of like a backward C shape. A little bit bigger one. They're all different sizes. Oh, maybe one in the corner here too. Maybe one in the corner there too. Get a good amount of dots on there. Perfect. So I have my background done. Uh, once I'm done, I'm really going to wash 
and dry my big brush. I really want to get all that blue off of it. I'm going to give that background some time to dry before I get any colors close to it so that it doesn't accidentally like mix or blend with my blue. So I'll just give it some drying time where it's not so shiny anymore. Really wash that big brush. And I'm going to almost just kind of hug my big brush with my paper towel. Get that blue off of there. Uh, once I'm done, I am going to paint the nose pink and inside of the ears pink with a little bit of white. I'm going to use my smaller brush um, and I am going to mix. So once you're done cleaning your big brush, you can take your small brush, get a scoop of pink, bring it onto your plate, get a scoop of white, and then mix it with your small brush. I do want it to almost be like a baby pink and I feel like this pink is still too bright so I can go back and add more white to it to lighten it up. Still want it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go back to my white. There we go, we're getting lighter and lighter. It's a nice light pink. Like a bubble gum or a baby kind of pink. Um, and then I'm gonna wipe off the sides of my small brush so I don't have a big chunk of paint on there. Even wipe it off on the paper towel. Um, and then once I'm done with my mix, I can grab my small brush again with my pink paint and I'm going to outline the shape of the heart. So the nice clean lines on the outside. I'll go over my pencil lines as well. I'm going to outline the shape of my heart. Oops, sorry about that. I'll go in there and I will paint inside of it. Again, be sure there's no bumps in there. If you want to give it two coats so it's a little bit better of a coverage, give it some time to dry and then you can go back into it. Um, then I'm going to go in there, use that same pink and that same small brush, and I'm going to outline over my pencil lines with the pink, so the, the right ear and the left ear. And outline it like so. And then I'm just going to go back to some white, and I'm just going to sweep inside there, kind of going over my pink outline as well. So I just grabbed some white and I'm doing like choppy little short lines and filling in the center. If you feel like it's still too pink, let it dry and then add more white on top. So you give it some drying time and you can just lay the white on top. And it won't be blending in as much. So choppy, short little choppy movements with my small brush going over my pencil work like so. All right, next thing I am going to do is I am going to mix um, some gray and I'm going to add some lines of gray um, in the fur area and then white. Um, I'm just going to use my small brush because I want those small little um, like hair, hairs or furs and um, each little line kind of moving in, in different directions and again a lot of sweeping I'm flicking at the end of my brush stroke to get those thinner ends um, on the uh, fur of the llama. So um, small brush, be sure that you really washed and dried after you mixed your pink. I'm going to take a nice scoop of white. So a nice scoop of white. Be sure you're not in, uh, in an area that you got pink in. And a nice scoop of black. And mix it and make a nice kind of like pencil lead gray. And I go back for more white to lighten it up. So a nice light gray, like a pencil lead gray. I wipe off my brush. I got a lot of paint on it. There we go. And after I'm and mixing and I have a nice light gray. Again, be sure to wipe off the sides of your small brush so you don't have 
big chunks of paint. Um, I am going to go back to my small brush. And again, I'm just going to be doing some flicks of gray kind of all around. Not so much um, around the ear, maybe like a couple here or there. And I'm constantly moving my brush. So I don't want to be in the same spot. And on the left side, I go to the left. On the right side, I go a little bit more to the right. So a little bit of movement with the hair. I want to work mostly down here and it's okay if you go into your blue a little bit too kind of have some flicks of blue oh, excuse me have some flicks of gray going into the blue and you can see my fur is going a little bit that way a little bit that way the way that the um the fur is sitting and the harder you push on your brush the thicker the lines become too so if you feel like your sweeps of gray are a little bit too thick just push a little bit less on your brush but you want to still have some white space peeking through. And we'll go in there in just a moment and add some white on top while our gray is still a little bit wet. So the gray and the white are blending together. They're two wet paints that'll be working together. And remember, you do have that bottom area that we kind of left white earlier so you can paint the bottom area with some sweeps. Okay. So I have a good amount of gray on there. And then uh, without uh, washing my brush, I'll just go into a nice clean area of white. And then I'm just going to be doing that same thing. And I'm going to completely cover any white canvas that is peeking through with some sweeps of white. And again, I'm constantly moving my brush, a lot of sweeps. And it's okay if the white and the gray touch. You want them to kind of be working together. And if you feel like you have too much gray on there, you can um, let it dry a little bit more and then just add white on top to kind of white it out. Again, I'm just kind of moving in the direction of the fur. It's okay if some of the fur comes out on the sides. Be sure your blue is nice and dry so the blue and the white and the gray don't all mix. Small brush, fast, sweepy movements going in the direction that the fur is falling. This part right here, I'm just kind of going into the, to the outsides of the ear right here. I'm not really sweeping out from it, I'm keeping that area a little bit more clean. like your brush is getting too dry you can add some water on it tap on your paper towel and go over your white and gray so if you feel like your brush is getting too dry and the white and the gray aren't really working together too well add some water to your small brush tap it on your paper towel and then go on top of the gray and white Also on the bottom part, don't forget where you had your grays, you can go in there and just add some white. And if you are going to be working on the fur longer than I am, you are welcome to pause the video and go back to it the next step whenever you're ready. Up here on the top of its head, after I'm done covering um, up to the pencil line. I am going to start fairly with not too much paint on my brush. Just maybe even tap some off on your paper towel. Just sweep some hairs going up. So just little short sweeps. You don't want them to be too long. 
not all the same length, maybe some shorter, some longer. Because we are going to have that floral headband later, so you do want to have some hair poking through the top. And if you want to, closer to the ear, you can start kind of sweeping out a little bit more. Just kind of following the direction of the fur. Putting that white fur on there, getting it nice and cute and furry. You want to get your brush a little bit more wet. Kind of coming down the diagonal. And kind of coming up a little bit more on the sides. So cute. All right. Make sure cute mama. Be sure you got into all the those spaces. You don't want any of your canvas peeking through. You want to make sure your llama is covered with hair. And again, if you want your llama to be lighter, give it some time to dry. Then you can just kind of go back over it with more white. Or if you want it to be darker, you can always go back with more gray. Maybe even add some water to your brush and then have them work together a little bit better, the gray and the white. So cute. All right. Um, once I'm done, I am going to wash and dry my um, small brush and I am going to paint kind of like this egg shape um, in the mouth area all uh, gray around the heart and around kind of the, uh, the J and L shape. Um, small brush, that gray paint that we used earlier um, for the fur if you still have some you can use that or you can make yourself more of the pencil lead gray um, and then uh, go ahead and go in there and paint inside this area. I am going to go around my heart shape, be sure it's nice and dry. I'm going to go around this J shape. That too it kind of looks like it has a mustache. I also want to go on top of these pencil lines so I don't see them anymore. It has that egg shape. Nice outline all the way around and then you can go in there with your small brush or your big brush, it's up to you. Just be careful, stay inside that shape. And be sure to cover up that pencil line. Get my brush a little bit wet, tap, 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 and go over the pencil line. If you lose some of this pencil line, not a problem. You can just kind of go, or later on we're going to go over with black and I'll help you find it. And if this egg shape got a little bit messy, you can let it dry and put some white over it to white it out. I'm just going to make it work in with the hair more and then you can go back and clean up your gray egg shape. So there is our kind of mouth area. And then once you are done, you're going to wash and dry your brush. And we're going to work in um, the, uh, the floral section. So we're going to let this dry. We're not going to add any black to our brush just yet or to our water. It's going to get kind of messy, but we're going to work on our florals. And then we'll go back to finishing the eye and mouth. Um, florals, small brush only. We're going to start with our pink paint. So small brush, pink paint. And I'm going to start with 
um, the, uh, the flower over here just to the right of this ear right here. And I'm going to make a C and a backward C shape. Do you guys see that? C and a backward C. And then I'm going to make another C and a backward C. I'm going to go on the outside, C. Actually, it's more like a rainbow and a smiley face. But I'm always going to be curving my brush. And I'm going to go from smaller to bigger. Work my way around it with these rainbow shapes. Like so. Do you see how I started with a C, backward C, and then just kind of went around? And then went around, making sure the rounded part is facing on the outside. I am going to add a little bit of water to my brush, tap it on my paper towel. Just going to get in there and move those shapes a little bit more in so I don't see any white peeking through. I'm just going to go in there. And I'm constantly moving my brush. I don't want to be in the same area. So I just used a little bit of water, just kind of brought some of those colors in. Like so. And again, I was constantly moving my brush. Without cleaning my brush, I'm going to add a little bit of white to it and kind of follow that same idea. So I'm going to add white, maybe tap it on your paper towel a couple of times. Start in the inside with those smaller curves and on the outside. And they kind of have a rounded outside, almost like that rainbow shape. And I'm just constantly moving my brush. I don't want to be in the same spot again. I'll show you guys how to do another one. So if you feel like you want to watch before you do any of them, that is totally fine. Um, but my next one, I am going to do my kind of purple uh, one over here. With my purple one, I am going to mix a little bit of pink. I didn't even clean my brush. It's still that pink and white. And a little bit of purple. I'm going to kind of get it over here. So it's pink and purple mix. It becomes this plum color. So I didn't even clean my brush. I just went back for more pink and purple. Made a little bit of mix. To the right of this one, um, let me wipe off the side so I don't have too much on there. I'm going to start in the middle. Make that C shape. Make that backwards kind of C shape. And I'm going to go kind of on the outside. Make those rainbow shapes. And then again, go on the outside. All the way around. I'm not going to overlap over my uh, pink. I want to kind of be just to the right of it. I'll add some water. I'll just kind of tap it on my paper towel. And I'm just going to bring some of those colors in. And again, I'm constantly moving my brush, making sure that the outside is curvy. And I'm covering up the white spots that I can see underneath it. Perfect. And then without cleaning my brush, I'll go back to the white. And I'll um, tap on my paper towel so I don't have too much on there. And I'll start in the middle again. Make those C's and backward C shapes. And then again, the round kind of rainbow shape all the way around. A little bit of curve. Come on the outside. Make another one like so. I'm gonna wash and dry my small brush and I'll make two of this mustardy yellow ones, a little bit smaller than these two, one on the left side and one on the right side. If you feel like your pink and purple are still really wet, uh, give them a couple minutes to dry and then you can move on to your yellow flowers. But small brush, yellow paint. I'll do the one on the left. I'm gonna start in the middle make kind of, uh, and I, I'm going to go down a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. So it's not going straight across. I'm going to come down a little bit to the left, make a C shape, make a backward C shape. And then on the outside, just kind of make those rainbow shapes all the way around. And I can get a little bit bigger with another kind of rainbow shape all the way around. Be sure you're moving that brush and you have your smaller ones in the middle and your bigger petals on the outside. And this yellow one is um, smaller than these two. 
I'll add a little bit of water to my brush, tap on my paper towel. Just kind of bring some of that yellow in, working with those same kind of curvy shapes. I'm going to add white to my brush. I didn't even clean it. I'll start in the middle and make the C, backward C. I'll go around. Some white. I'm not going to even clean my brush. I'll just dip into the yellow again. Again, remember to curve down a little bit to the right. And this one's going to be smaller than your purple one. I'm going to make a C shape, a backward C shape. And I'm kind of working with my rainbow shape all the way around. Constantly move that brush. Come on a little bit more on the outside. Perfect. Add water. Tap on your paper towel. Bring those colors in. Sure that rainbow shape is on the outside for your petals. And then without cleaning it, I might give it another coat of yellow right here. You can still see a lot of that blue poking through. And uh, without cleaning my brush, I'll go in there with the uh, white again. Be sure you have a nice clean area of white. Tap on my paper towel. Go in there and make those C and backward C shapes to show the petals and the light. Excellent. All right. Then I'm going to wash and dry my small brush. I'm going to make a dark blue flower here on the left and a uh, purple on its own here on the right. So no purple and pink mix, just purple on its own. So small brush with your dark blue. This one's going to be your smallest one, so you want to make sure you have a smaller flower. Like that C backwards C shape. I'm kind of curving down. I'm going to go around it with my rainbow shapes. Keeping it kind of small all the way around. I'll use water, tap on my paper towel, bring some of that purple in. This is some of that dark blue in. So this is my dark blue one. And then I'm going to add white. I'm not going to even clean my small brush. Tap on my paper towel. Come in there. Come in those back. C shapes. Wash and dry. And just purple on its own. A mini one here to the right. Start in the middle. It's okay if it touches the yellow, just be sure it's not too wet. Like so. Add water. Tap on my paper towel. I'm just going to bring some of that purple in. and add a little bit more purple to make it a little bit darker. And add some white. Tap, tap, tap. And I'll come in there. And Dry again and make this one a little bit bigger on the left side. I'm going to come out with my petals just a little bit more. And they both kind of went down on either side for the crown. And then I am going to add some greenery around um, the flowers. Be sure the flowers are uh, pretty dry. You don't want them to, to be too wet. But small brush, nice and clean. I washed it and I dried it. Your green paint. And you're going to just kind of find little um, places where, uh, between the flowers. I'm going to find, uh, I'm going to go in this area between like this plummy color and this yellow. Start down here where they meet. I'm just going to 
flick to the left and to the right like a V shape, and then I'll go in the middle and flick out like so. And find another little area. How about down? Um, that's gonna be too close to the eyes, I think. Maybe this one over here again. So I'm gonna flick out to the left, to the right, a V shape, and then go in the middle. Flick that one. Down here, maybe an upside down V, and then flick in the middle. Those little sweeps, and then I'm gonna to the left, to the right, flick in the middle. And then I'm gonna go to the left and to the right of this blue and yellow one and flick in the middle. Two little green stains. I'm gonna wash and dry my brush. And then I'm gonna work into um, the areas of black and some white on the, uh, the eyes. Uh, make sure the gray is nice and dry before you do this next step. Also with your small brush, you're gonna be doing some line work. So if you wanna get your brush wet, you're gonna squeeze most of the water out of it and get it to a nice point. So you're using it like a pointy pencil. Since this is small brush, black paint. And be sure um, that uh, you know that the harder you push on your brush, the thicker the line becomes and you want some nice thin lines. You're going to be making this J and this L shape and then this kind of like smiley face shape on the bottom. There's no line work on the top. So small brush black paint. Go in there and just make this nice long line. And then I'm going to be making this right there. If you feel like you're... Uh, gray is too thick, excuse me, your black is too thick, you can let the black dry and go back in there with some gray and kind of touch it up. And the next step is to go in here and I like nice long smooth lines. I'm gonna go on back there and I would probably go back and add some gray to mine because I do feel like my black lines got a little bit too thick. But be sure the black is nice and dry before you go in there and add any gray. You are going to go in there with black paint and outline. You want to go over these pencil lines. You're going to make these football shapes of the eyes with your small brush. Get my brush a little bit wet. Tap on the paper towel. That wet. Needs to move a little bit smoother. I'll go in there and paint all of this area. All black. Small brush black paint again. Same with this side, you want to outline the shape, go over your pencil line. And use your black paint, small brush to fill it in. Be sure you don't have any of that white canvas peeking through. Perfect. Uh, next is the lashes, and there's three on each side. And again, be sure uh, to be aware that the harder you push, the, the thicker the line becomes. And then um, if you wanna make sure that your brush is at a nice point, I'm gonna start on the top one and work my way down and I'll do the same on the left side. Um, be sure your flowers are in the, in the background are nice and dry. But I'm gonna start out here in the edge and I'm gonna curve down just a little bit and I'll flick out. So there's one. The second one's gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna start here at the edge, come down and second one. Start here at the edge, a little bit lower down and then go back to long again. So there are my two lashes. Oh, this is my three little lashes. And then same on the other side. And be sure they're pretty even. That Whatever you're doing on the right, be sure you're doing on the left with the length. So curve down. Your longer one. You have your shorter one. And you're gonna come down here and I'm just kind of flicking at the end of those brush strokes um, once I am done with my lashes I want to use the back of my um, small brush dip the back of it into a nice clean area of white be sure this black is nice and dry so be sure to kind of give yours a couple minutes up here to the corner left I'm gonna push down up here to the corner left I'm gonna push down and get those two areas of um, the dots in there too. So two dots. I'm gonna go back really quick here and show you how I'm gonna clean up this gray. And then I think we will be all done with our llama painting. 
So be sure again, your black is nice and dry. You don't have any shiny black paint. It's gonna go into nice long smooth lines. Kind of thin out top just a little bit. You are welcome to go back and touch anything up as well. Just be very careful of wet paints, blending. Be sure that everything looks nice and smooth. If you want to add water to your brush, tap it on the paper towel and then smooth anything out or make your colors blend. But before you are done, if you want to go back and touch anything up, now is the time. That was my cute little mama. All right, I think we are all done. Thank you so much, artists, for joining us for our llama painting class. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully it looks amazing, and I'm sure it does. Uh, thank you from Young at Art, and have a beautiful day.